Hello there! So, as you've probably seen, we've been doing streams, releasing gameplay showcases, hearing dev diaries, and delving into the factions you'll be commanding in Total War Pharaoh. One thing all these videos have in common is, well, this little message here. Development in progress. And hey, development has certainly been in progress. We've been making changes through development to Total War Pharaoh to ensure we're making the best game we can and to make sure that you get access to all its best offerings. So, let's have a little look, shall we? So let's start with the one we've been teasing since the start of this video. Certain units in Total War Pharaoh will now harbour standard bearers, but we've added more than just decorative standards. Switching the UI on, you can now see units you send into the field also have banners attached to them. This can make selecting units easier, and also helps out with the tracking of the status of units. With banners, you'll know how they're faring on the field, as they start fraying when they take damage in conflict, letting you know how your units are doing at a quick glance. We've also added alternative unit cards. While we still have the 3D rendered unit cards that have received a bit more work, you also have a choice of switching it entirely to 2D unit cards, stylized as Egyptian art. Every unit across Egypt, Canaan, and the Hittites are illustrated, and you'll be free to choose between 3D renders and 2D art at your pleasure. On the battlefields, we've added a whole host of changes and adjusted balance across many aspects of combat. We've added the option for archers to target ground when utilizing fire arrows, opening up even more strategic opportunities with the use of fire, alongside improvements to the AI when reacting to set flames. Weather and terrain effects have also been rebalanced, impacting units a lot more heavily than they did before truly showcasing the importance of using the right units in the right locations. We've also reworked charges, adding a lot more heft into the impact of both infantry and chariots, reducing the floatiness from combat, as well as adding more variations in animation. The changes aren't only on the battlefield though. We've made numerous changes to the menus and campaigns of Total War Pharaoh. We wanted to add a lot more diversity to the factions. One of the ways we've done this is adding faction commands. Each faction have their own commands. Their power ranges from being able to complete royal decrees immediately to granting a boon to your units in certain kinds of conflict. They can either be activated between Shemsu Hor turns for a quick, powerful boon, or you can wait until Shemsu Hor to gain a passive boon for the next few turns until the next one. We've also reworked when certain features become available to you. Namely, the Ancient Legacies. Ancient Legacies add a lot of variation to your campaign, allowing you to follow the paths of several leaders before you. In their original timing, these came a tad too late in the campaign, meaning you would miss out on exciting content for your journey through the Collapse. So we've brought them in earlier, so you get to experience them sooner. Alongside this, we've reworked the UI and UX across several sections of the campaign to add more context and visual polish. Areas reworked include Ancient Legacies, The Power of the Crown, and The Courts. Speaking of The Courts, this brings us on to the last subject we wanted to bring up, and that's the subject of Canaanites choosing a royal tradition. The Canaanite factions haven't had easy access into either Hittite or Egyptian courts, and while Ursu might be fine with that, he'd rather treat them as sizable bonfires, Bey shines in the courts. For Bey, joining a court is free whereas Irsu must pay his way in. We wanted to ensure playing a Canaanite faction didn't stop you from engaging in courts and crown space mechanics. So these are some of the changes we've been making to Total War Pharaoh through development. From combat rebalancing to Canaanite legitimacy, we've been striving to ensure you get the best game we can deliver. Whether you choose to be the Great King, the Pharaoh, or the Herald of the Apocalypse, we hope to see you at the collapse of the Bronze Age.